Hello there, this is Dave Allen and today we're having a quick look and see what we can do with Alfred workflows. And first of all, what we're going to do is have a look at some of the workflows that you can download. And a good place to start looking for some of these workflows will be in this place here, alfredworkflow.com. There's a pile of them. And this list has actually grown three times the length it was from when I first looked at it. And I'm really quite pleased with this. It's got loads of stuff in there. Some of the stuff is a bit geeky and some of it is actually very usable. These are some of the workflows that I've downloaded already. I've downloaded them into a little folder all for themselves. And all you have to do to get these into the application is to double click on them. And then when they come in, they'll come in without the hotkeys attached. So you have to work out your own hotkeys. This one here is called the Pen to Journal and it's by Agile Tortoise. And all you have to do is to do the Alfred Think to start with. Type in J and uh, whatever you put in after that is going to go into your journal. So let's just uh, say uh, hello. That'll do for start off. Tap on that and it's gone into a journal. And how can I prove that's actually worked? So let's do uh, the same thing again and do a space. Look for the file called journal.txt, which is where it's gone to. And you can see that the thing that I just typed in there has gone in with a date, a time and the actual letters that's supposed to be there. So there you go. That's the first one we're looking at called Pen to Journal by Agile Tortoise. Uh, this one here is uh, for Bitcoin. And you can do this one here, start with currency, set your preferred currency. So that's set my preferred currency. I've got a little notification on that as well. Now I can go for exchange. And that basically just shows me what the euro is trading for on Bitcoin. OK, so if you're into Bitcoin, there's a few things there that you can do with Bitcoin. Most people are not into Bitcoin, so we'll have a look at something else. Now, what I found this morning, which is really rather good, is called Shorten URL and it's by HZLZH. So let's do that one then. All we need to do is to start typing in the word short. After a couple of letters, you'll see the word short popping up there and you'll have what you need to get started. Two letters and I've got the one I need. Press enter. And then I'm going to put in the URL that I want. I'm going to use Text Expander to expand the URL. So it's going to be this one for Digital Book Maestro. And then I choose which one I want to use. I can use Jump, Vgood, Google, or is good, or this one here, Bitly, which is probably my favorite one. Tap on that. And the uh, Bitly address has been copied to the clipboard. So if I got to go, if I want to go and have a look at that now, all I've got to do is go into Google Chrome. Let's open up a new tab and do Command V to paste it in. And that should take me into Digital Book Maestro. How about that then? Pretty good, huh? So there's the uh, filters there. I've put a um, shortcut key on there, a hot key on there as well. So there you go. That's a quick way to get your short URLs using Alfred. And as I say, I've got a shortcut in there. So if I do Shift, Command and Option and an S. So there you go. That's our first quick look at some of the workflows in Alfred. And in the next one, we'll have a look and see what else we've got in there. Bye bye now. Thanks for watching the video and why don't you check out the other videos. Here's two of them. There's one video there and one video there that you can click on and go and have a look at now. And don't forget that you can also subscribe. Talk to you again soon. Bye bye now.